Paul Bodis asks, hi, which businesses can I start with 50,000 and they make me 100,000 every month? This is a question I'll attempt to answer in this video. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get the credits rolling. Paul, thank you for the question. Now I can only answer the first part, which businesses you can start with 50,000. In order for you to know which types of businesses make 100K every month, you need to actually be in business. And every single business has ups and downs, so you cannot be able to predict how much exactly a particular business will make. So here are my ideas on the businesses that you can start with just 50,000. Business number one is a Boda Boda business. The reason why I love this business is because you can be able to make money regularly. In order to buy a new motorcycle that will cost you between 60 and 100,000, that's just a little above what we are looking at. But if you are able to buy a used motorcycle, you'll probably spend less than that. The thing to actually watch out for is that you need that motorcycle to be looked at by a qualified mechanic before you make purchase of it because you never know the reason why someone is selling their motorcycle. But if you have someone who is dependable, you can be able to pay them that 50,000 and you have your border border. The way that this business works really well is to be at a place where there is less competition. And that can be that that particular place does not have a lot of motorbikes or that you offer extra services that your customers would love to have. For instance, there are parents who like their children being dropped in the morning in school and because they can't get their children to school themselves, they usually ask a border border person that they trust to take their kids to school. So this requires that for you as a border border person to be faithful and trustworthy so that people can even be able to give you those extra jobs. Of course, with a job like that where you're taking kids to school, you'll be making much more money because you're being paid for coming to pick them and then taking them to school and even picking them from school and bringing them to the house. So this can be a good regular income for you that does not even disturb the other work that you are doing. All you need to do is organize yourself with time and you can be able to do this business. The second avenue that you can make money with this particular business is to get onto ride hailing apps similar to Uber and Taxify and Glovo. These are other avenues for you to be able to make money. The more trips you do with this particular apps, the more money you can be able to make. And of course, as you are taking all this food to the customers, you can be able to make much more money because if someone trusts you or they've done business with you a number of times, they may be able to give you extra work. This is a really lucrative business if you can be able to get to those apps. The third way that you can be able to make money as a Boda Boda rider is to work with a courier company where you are stationed at a lawyer's residence, for instance, where you can be able to be doing their errands from one place to another. Here, you are paid a fixed amount every single day, but truth be told, this may be actually less work for the amount of money that you're making. If you are stationed at a particular vendor, then this can mean that they can even start sending you for their own errands apart from the ones that you're being paid for by the courier company and this will land more money in your pocket. So this is the first business that you can be able to start with 50,000 bob. Business number two that you can start with 50,000 is a hardware business. Now, the good thing with hardware is that in this country for the last 10 or so years, people have constantly been doing real estate construction. Now, hardware is usually at the very start. As you're starting, you probably do not know very many people, but one thing that you can do with this particular business is go to the actual sites where people are constructing and ask them if they need a particular item delivered to them. You can even cover that cost of bringing it to them for one or two, but as your hardware business is growing, you can be able 
to have them come to your premises and they will buy from there. If you find a place where you can pay rent for around 10,000 bob, the extra 40,000 you can be able to buy a few things in. This can be masonry products, uh, nails and hammers, things that would normally be used in construction. And the good thing is, as you sell one item, you can be able to buy two, for instance. In the hardware business, for very many of them, it's a price business. So if you can be able to stay competitive as well, then this is a business that will do well for you. The next thing that you need to do is talk with your suppliers to start giving you items on credit so that you can be able to purchase them from them at, after two weeks or after a month, but your customers are still paying you with cash and you can be able to turn that money in the business by the end of the month you pay your suppliers. This is a good business, especially in places where estates are coming up, people are building their homes and their first homes or their dream homes, this can be a good way to actually start. If you want to actually succeed highly with this business is to get to know architects and contractors that are working on site. Foreman will actually help you as well to get in touch with this decision makers and you can be able to work not just in one project that's near your home area or your business area, you can be able to work with them even in areas that are not near where your business is located. A hardware business is an extremely cash intensive business. So you need to actually make sure that you keep your records well so that you know which items are selling, which ones are not, and what is making you most profit per shilling. This would really be important, especially if you want to grow your hardware business. If you want other businesses that you can be able to start in 2021, check out this video that is above here and the playlist below is of businesses that you can start in 2020. This video is sponsored by Mumo Photography. I'll see you in the next one.